it only made sense to me that I would be your next witness. And I've been very anxious to have this conversation with you today. So I ran to the courtroom. So as soon as um, you heard that Mr. Wade was done testifying, that's when you just assumed you would be the next witness? It only makes sense. Um, did you listen to any of the testimony? I've been in my office pacing, ma'am. Okay. Um, did you listen to any arguments? I did hear that the arguments this morning. It's ridiculous to me that the, you lied on Monday, and yet here we still are. And I did listen to that argument. Um, um, all right, so that was it, just the argument, no testimony. Right, I listened to the argument this morning where Adam Abadi, I thought, did an excellent job pointing out how dishonest you were with the court on Monday. And um, I'm actually surprised that the hearing continued. But since it did, here I am. Great. Um, so let's talk about, first let's just talk about what you did in preparation for today. Um, did you meet with Mr. Wade at all? Once the, mo once the motion was filed, did you meet with Mr. Wade and talk to him about the motion that I filed to disqualify you? On January, this first January motion? But, yes. I don't know if you can say talked about. Um, I probably had some choice words about some of the things that you said that were dishonest within this motion. So I don't know that it was a conversation. As you know, Mr. Wade is a Southern gentleman. I mean, not so much. Okay, but my question was, did you have a conversation with him? I didn't him? have a substantive conversation. You did not? I read this motion, skimmed it more of so, and um, I've probably said some choice things to him about some of the lies they were told. Okay. And but then printed in the media because, you know, we used to be in a day and time where you had 60 minutes and people did stories and they verified information um, and you had this great reporting. But it seems today that a lawyer writes a lie, and then it's printed for all of the world to see. Well, I just want to make sure that you answer the question I asked, though. So my question was... I'm going to object. I'm going to ask an Overruled, Mr. Abadi. Um, I told you what happened. I read the motion. I am sure I told him what my opinion of it is. Okay. And past that, we had no substantive conversation. You did not. Is there um, something you didn't understand? No, I just wanted to make sure that, that okay. you did not have a meeting with him in the conference room to discuss the motion. Right, next question, no. Ms. Marcia. So in the, in the conference room of my office, within this week, you produced some financial document. That financial document was given to me, something, and I'm not even sure it was given it to him by me or Mr. Abadi gave it to me. Um, and I think he showed me a document in our conference room. But as far as a substantive conversation, I would not have, I don't believe I've had any conversation with him that is substantive related to this. Okay. Um, I have had conversations with him um, since you filed the motion, but they wouldn't be substantive to this. He sent me uh, very nice uh, sermons that, that have been done. And so we've had conversations about, did you listen to that sermon? You, you know, things of that nature. And I would say they were in relationship to this because I think he did it to be kind. Um, let's start back in 2019. Yeah. So um, you and Mr. Wade met in October 2019 at a conference? That is correct. Okay. And I think in one of your motions you tried to implicate I slept with him at that conference, which I find to be extremely offensive. I stayed at that conference. Mr. Wade was my teacher. I did not meet him when he taught the class. I was standing outside talking to Lisa Reeves, who is a judge. Me and her were just having a conversation. Mr. Wade walks up, and they hug each other. They have some brief conversation. She introduces us. Your Honor, I'm, I'm going to object. We kind of thought that when you asked the question, you didn't <laughs> answer the question, not a speech. So I object to the speech. I agree. I'm able to explain my answers. I believe she's able to explain my answers. That's, that's, Ms. Merchant, that's okay. I can handle it. Ms. Willis, I'll ask you to just listen to the answer, or excuse me, the question, and keep the answers confined to the question as best you can. I think you'll have more than enough ample opportunity on uh, when the state is well, able to It's highly to offensive when someone lies on you, and it's highly offensive when they the try judge. to implicate that you slept with somebody the first day you met with them, and I take exception to it. All right. Well, Ms. Willis, she'll be, have... The opportunity to explain all of that when it's the state's turn to ask more open-ended questions. Yeah. Ms. Merchant. Thank you, Judge. Um, so again, my question was, you all met at that conference, though, right? We did. The meeting, okay. He, as I stated, he taught the class. I did not actually meet him when he taught the class. I walked out of the class, and I'm not sure if it was that exact class or we had went to lunch, but we were standing in the vestibule, like outside of the class. Me and Judge Reeves were having a conversation. 
She had worked at a law firm I worked at back in 1996. We're getting way far. I mean, I don't mind her explaining her answers, but I literally just asked if they met at that conference. She's explaining how she met Mr. Wade, which was exactly the question asked by Ms. Merchant. It was. These answers are more than appropriate. Um, Ms. Merchant, if you want more concise answers, perhaps you could lead the witness. I will. Thank you, Judge. Um, isn't it true that you met Mr. Wade October 2019 at the judges' conference? We haven't gotten to the point where Ms. Willis should be treated hostile in this situation. I think we well, have. I very Mr. much Lewis. want to be here, so I'm not a hostile witness. I very much want to be not here. Not so much that you're hostile, Ms. Willis. It'd be an adverse witness. Your interests are opposed to Ms. Merchant's. Thank Ms. you. Ms. Merchant's interests are, per are contra contrary to democracy, Your Honor, not to mine. All right. Let's Judge, proceed. Can keep, that we, we can keep things moving. Ms. Merchant, next question, thank please. You. Um, okay, so we've confirmed when you met. Um, after that, isn't it true? No, I, I need to explain this, and I think I get to explain my answers. When I met him, Judge Reeves introduced us. He handed me his business card. I'm unsure if I handed him my business card, but we exchanged information. He said, if you ever need any help, give me a call. And he walked to the parking lot. Um, so after, after that, you started dating shortly thereafter, correct? That's a lie. That's okay. one of your lies. Okay. Um, do you know Robin Yerdy? I, I know her as Robin Bryant. I, I knew her. Uh, so Robin did not go to my college. She okay. went to the college of, uh, she, I went to Howard University. She went to Morgan State. Uh, I met her through some people I knew. Um, in college, we hung out a bit. Not much because she was in Baltimore and I was in Washington, D.C. Um, but we hung out a bit. After college, I lost contact with her. I probably didn't see Robin again until maybe seven or eight years ago, a chance meeting here in Atlanta. But we did not have a consistent relationship from when I left college and came to Emory Law School here in Atlanta. But I, eight to 10 years ago, um, just by happenstance, I ran into her. So she was in Atlanta. You have been friends with Robin for 30 something years. Did you hear my answer, ma'am? Yes, and I'm asking if you've been friends with her for 30-something years. I've known her for 30-something years. We certainly hung out and partied together in college. Um, she was from the D.C. area. She would come home and party together. Uh, wasn't close, but she was certainly in the girlfriends that party together. Um, and then, like I said, I ran into her about 10 years ago in Atlanta, Georgia. So but we didn't talk throughout that time period. I didn't see her. I didn't even know where she was. When I ran into her, I was surprised she was in Atlanta. And so, yes, I have known her probably since 1990, 1991, but we have not maintained a consistent relationship that whole time. For the last 10 years or five, whatever you'd like to classify it as, have you been friends with her? I have not spoken to Robin in um, over a year. I certainly do not consider her a friend now. Um, I think that she, you know, there's a saying, no good deed goes unpunished, and um, I think that she And that's what I was going to ask you, your security detail, did they take you to and from your house? They take, well, so I haven't been able to enjoy my home. Condo, I'm sorry. And March of where you lay your head? Do they take you to and from where you lay your head? 99% of the time. Would they take Mr. Wade to and from wherever you laid your head? That has never in the history of ever happened, ever, okay? Your security <laughs> team has never taken him? To, from my house? That's a lie. I asked them if they've ever taken him in. And I'm telling you that that's never happened. So your security team has never taken My Mr. Wade security anywhere. team has never taken Mr. Wade from any place where I have lived and brought him here. Never. Not once. Not ever. Have they ever taken the two of you together? To where? Anywhere. We've left this building and um, for gone to lunch, but I go to lunch so rarely that that is a very rare occasion. I am sure. And let me be clear, it wouldn't just be Mr. Wade. So I'm sure my security team has taken me to lunch. Probably been a time I've left here, seven o'clock, gone to get something to eat. And I don't even know that they would have taken him or if he would have driven himself, but they've taken me to do that. But we're talking very few, very far in between. Most days I don't even eat lunch. And when I do, it's because my assistant has heated up some bag, something, and I, I eat through meetings and eat in my office. It's not a practice of mine to go to lunch. During the time period that you were dating, would your security team ever take you two together anywhere? No. Never? If there was a lunch that occurred that I just described, 
if there was a meal that I occurred that I just described, anything outside of that, and it needs to be very clear. Not often, once, twice, because I want to be uh, over inclusive. I'm saying once or twice. I'm not certain that it happened, but I'd rather be over inclusive with you. So your office objected to us getting um, Delta records for flights that you may have taken with no, Mr. Wade. Well, no, no, no. Look, I object to you getting records. You've been intrusive into people's personal lives. You're confused. You think I'm on trial. These people are on trial for trying to steal an election in 2020. I'm not on trial, no matter how hard you try to put me on trial. So my question was, do you have any problem? I object to getting any personal records of mine. We're not dealing with privilege through a witness. And I'm not, no, 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 I'm not dealing with privilege. What um, we had offered to put them in camera for the court to review, and I just want to know if she has any That's problem. That's something to do with a witness. Ma'am, I don't have checks. Okay. Um, so you have no proof of any reimbursement for any of these things because it was all cash, right? The testimony of one witness is enough to prove a fact. So my question you was, do you have I'm any proof? You? Is that what you're intimating right here? I'm asking if you have any proof that you paid him any of these The proof is what I just told you. You have no written proof. Is that correct? So I have some, um, probably some transactions like in Belize. I probably spent $500 on my card uh, in Belize. I spent 800, I can't remember, 900 bucks on each of our tickets to go to Belize. I did the seven hundred dollars. I probably got some minor expenses in Aruba that would be on a card, but for the most part, for those trips, other than so, the two cruises, I gave him money for those before we ever left because um, they were pre-booked. Let me answer. Well, the, the, the question was if you had any written proof, and so so I've answered you that I've had written. We proof can move to the next question if you've answered if you had any written proof, and that was my question. Um, I, I want to make sure that we're clear. That for the two cruises, Judge, that's I the asked if she gave him written proof. We're not going to talk about <laughs> Ms. Merchant, she answered your question, so we can ask the next question. Ms. Willis and Ms. Cross will have plenty of opportunities to let you clarify your answers <laughs> when it's her turn. Thank you, Judge. Knowing your role as district attorney, you know that public funds are scrutinized and money is scrutinized and things like that. You understand? No, I'm, never, I'm sorry, go ahead. You understand you're under a microscope. You have reporting requirements, all of those types of things. Um, you have no record other than your testimony of the money that you've given Mr. Wade. You've already asked that question. Let's keep going. Um, when you took office, you had a tax lien of $4,600. Did you pay that with cash when you <clears throat> made that tax lien hole? I probably paid through uh, <clears throat> however you pay. Okay. So, but you were saying that you had amounts of cash. You still had that lien in 2022 when you were getting <laughs> Wade and going on these trips. So the cash that you gave him, that could have been used to pay this tax lien off? You gonna tell me how to pay my bills? No, this is not relevant as it relates to why we're here today. Ms. Merchant, um, if you, are you trying to establish that she was insolvent in some way? Um, I definitely was trying to establish that, that she did not have these mass amounts of cash that she's talking about, yes. All right, ask the, re -ask the question. Um, you had a tax lien in 2022, $4,600. Did you say I did? And you did not use this cash that you had to reimburse Mr. Wade to pay that off, correct? No. I went shopping too when I didn't pay it off. And you talked about, uh, you, you, gave a, you gave a lot of interviews to some authors and were book called Finding the Facts, right? <laughs> I would not characterize it as a lot. I probably have spoken to them no, two or three times. Last question is relevant. I think it's already come up. That finances are discussed in the book. I'll overrule that. Thank you. Ms. Wilson, you can continue your answer. What well, came up with Mr. Wade as it relates to hearsay statements that he was asked about in relation to what Ms. Willis may or may not have said in relation to an author. So it's not relevant to the testimony that's occurring at this time. I think Ms. Merchant has said that it, inside the book, she also makes a statement as to her own finances. You once said that you would not engage with a personal relationship with anyone that worked for Fulton County. Is that correct? Uh, an employee? Anyone that worked for Fulton County. I think I said an employee. Okay. So that's the qualification you give an employee? You would. I think that's the statement that I made. So if you want to quote me, quote me accurately. So. It's your position because Mr. Wade was not an employee? Or it's your position he wasn't an employee, correct? Mr. Wade is not an employee, and he will tell you that over and over again. <laughs> How often did Mr. Wade visit you 
at a place where you were living between 2019 and 2021. Are so you going to start with the lie that he lived with me in, in South Fulton in 2019, a home he's never been to? That's one lie you told Judge, in your document. I, I, no, you, Judge, I didn't ask her about that. Miss um, Merchant, I want you to ask a very precise question. I think she's saying and answering that he did not live with her. So why don't we break that up into smaller yeah, parts? And I, I didn't ask about living. But she put in your, did, while we're talking about professionalism, no, while we're talking about professionalism, she put in three different documents well, he lived with me. Full opportunity to respond. In and filed that with the court. In 2019. He's never been to South Fulton. In 2019, I lived in South Fulton. He has never been to my residence in 2019, ever, not once. In 2019, he's never been to your residence, any place. I lived in my home in South Fulton before I started getting the threats that were here, a house I paid for with my own sweat and tears. I'm no longer able to live there. But in 2019, I did. And in the two months of 2019 that I knew Mr. Wade, three months, the beginning of October, all of November, and all of December, Mr. Wade never came to my house in South Fulton. Let me help you out. I lived there in 2020. He never came to my house in 2020, let alone live with me, as you put falsely in these documents. In the first three months of 2021, when I could still enjoy my home, Mr. Wade never came to South Fulton, and it is certainly a lie that he lived with me. So in 2020, let's, so you said 2019, 2020, did Mr. Wade ever visit you at a place that you He has in? never been to my home in South Fulton. 2020 was before I knew that a phone call was gonna be made and I was gonna have to abandon my home. As a result thereof, he never visited, lived at, came to, or has seen South Fulton. You qualified that with your home in South Fulton. I'm That's where I lived in 2020. In 2020, did he ever visit you at a place that you resided? Okay. I don't understand. You must be the guy. In 2020, so I lived in South Fulton. Okay. That's the only place I lived in South Fulton. That's before I had to abandon my home, Judge. All right. And at my well, home in South Fulton, we'll is, I never, he never came there, okay? So if you Ms. don't Wells, come someplace, you can't live there. Ms. Wells, that's, I'm going to have to caution you. That's, that's going to be my the first time I have to caution you. We have to listen to the questions as asked. And if this happens again and again, I'm going to have no choice but to strike your testimony. So we need to break this down. Ms. Merchant's question, I believe, was uh, asking whether you lived anywhere other than South Fulton. I did not live anywhere but South Fulton, Georgia, in 2020. That is before I began my prosecution of this case, and I it was my plan to only live there. Did Mr. Wade ever visit you at the condo that you leased from Ms. Yerdy? He visited that condo, yes. He did? Yes. Did he ever spend the night at that condo? No. Just visited? Yeah, but he did visit for sure. Did you ever go out to eat together, other than the lunches you talked about, in during 2019 or 2020? I would think that we probably went to lunch, but it wouldn't have been, let me think, 2019. I'm gonna say, I don't know. I'm, I'm gonna say we probably broke bread someplace in 2019. I, I don't remember it, but it seems like we would have broke bread sometime in 2019. So I'm gonna say yes, although I have no recollection. Um, but it seems to me like I, I go out to eat and drink with pretty much everyone, so I'm gonna say yes. Did you have ongoing phone conversations during 2020 with Mr. Wade? Oh yeah, I talked to, yes, absolutely. Very briefly. Yes, sir. You had contact with Mr. Wade in the t year 2020, correct? Ooh, um, I had some contact with Mr. Wade. Would you explain when you say some contact, please tell us, the con talk about 2020. I had some contact with Mr. Wade in 2020. Um, one of the reasons your allegations are so preposterous or Ms. Merchants that you have joined is... Ma'am, no, no, I didn't no, no, ask no. you about the allegations. I asked you about your contact. So all I ask you, okay, I appreciate that, that you want to say something. I'm interested in, did you have contacts with Mr. Wade in 2020? And your answer so far has been yes, correct? 
very limited contact because um, Mr. Wade had a form of cancer that makes your allegations somewhat ridiculous. I, I do appreciate the characterization. I'm not going to emasculate a black man, but I'm, I'm just telling you. I'm that. sorry, what? I'm not going to emasculate a black man. Did you understand that? All right, well, I don't think we should discuss further. Mr. Seda, next question. Trying to, Your Honor. <clears throat> Would you tell us on the occasions in 2020 that you had contact with Mr. Wade? I'm sorry, I thought I had answered that. Yes, yes, sir, there were times in 2020 I had contact, but 2020 was a year I was running for office. It was a year that he was going through some serious medical issues, and I did not have much contact, but I certainly had contact with him in 2020. Did you it go wasn't... out to eat with him? Maybe, probably. Did you, did you visit him in any location, his office, or did he visit you in your office in 2020? I am sure he, uh, I'm sure, ooh, that's a very good question. I'm sure he came to 750 in 2020. 750 not, is? Was my office. Okay. Um, not often, but maybe once or twice. Uh, maybe I went to his office once or twice, but maybe once. And the purpose for going to his office would have been what? Maybe we would have went to Mellow Mushrooms for pizza, or uh, maybe he would have come for lunch. I'm sure we went by each other's office, though, but not often, not a lot. We, we both grinded, trying to make but, a living. But wait, I understand what you've said about the cancer, and I'm not going into that. But when you were going out with him to restaurants, or when he would come to your office, right, those were not sterile environments, were they? Oh, very sterile, because it was... The restaurants were sterile environments? A lot of times we wouldn't eat there. We would pick up something and go in, but they were. The, you, I'm, li I'm listening to you. You pick yeah. up and take it to where? Maybe eat at our office, but it did not happen much. That's what I'm trying to explain to you. And my office in 2020, nobody was coming in. I was stir crazy, so I would still go into my office. You remember when I started this, I said, I am not even sure if we came to each other's offices, but I am trying to be over cautious so i think i can recall him at 750 a couple of times um i just think i can recall him at 750 once but let's say twice i have seen his office i remember all the awards in the lobby but i'm not sure in 2020 i i went i'm not even sure i went in 2020 at all i just want to tell you yes because i'm not sure but I, I, have a, I have a distinct recollection of him at 750. I actually don't have a distinct recollection of me at his office in 2020. But maybe I went to his office in 2020. Maybe. Did you have ongoing phone conversations during 2020 with Mr. Wade? Oh, yeah. I talked to him. Yes. 